You know, I just want to share some, uh, a, a, uh, something that I just noticed. Here's the government book on how to take care of the appendix. Okay? <laughs> and in new health care, there's going to be books just like this for every single organ in your body. And this is going to be how we're all going to be taking care of patients in the future on the track we're on. I want to, I want to congratulate Jason on a wonderful paper. I know that um, many of you haven't really had a chance to go through the paper carefully, but it is right on the money. It's an excellent job. A lot of work went into it. He's done a, a superb job. And, more, and it'll be available on the Docs for Patient Care website as well as the Galen website, I'm sure. But um, more importantly, I just want to tell everybody how proud I am of Jason because it takes an awful lot of chutzpah to write a paper like this when you're in your residency. You know, you just put a big target on your chest when you write a paper like this, and he has definitely put himself out there. And um, more people, you know, he's showing a lot of, of maturity well beyond his years to be able to come to these conclusions. And so, you know, I, I highly congratulate him, and I, and I wish that there were more people like Jason out there who were doing just this. Unfortunately, they're getting the wrong message in medical school and residency training. And, and hopefully, um, groups like Docs for Patient Care will be instrumental in helping to give those students who are being brainwashed the other side of the story. Um, before we discuss this in, in open forum and open it up to questions, I'd like to take five minutes to tell people about Docs for Patient Care and how we got to where we are. Let Dick Armstrong get up here and tell you where we're going, and then we'll go ahead and just open this up to questions. Um, Docs for Patient Care, as I started to say before, was started as a one-issue organization for the, um, it's because of the concern about um, uh, the uh, health care reform measures that the Democrat Party was putting forth. And uh, it was looking bad. Tom Price came to, uh, to me at my request to help me motivate doctors in Atlanta, Georgia, where we started Doctor for Patient Care. And I'm going to encapsulate this quite, quite a bit. But to make a long story short, in less, in, in less than two years, we were able to put together an organization of about 4,000 doctors, about uh, another 8,000 individuals who signed up for uh, information on our website. We have had uh, opinion pieces appear in the Wall Street Journal, in the Washington Times, in multiple uh, online publications. We have had appearances on over 250 nationally syndicated radio shows talking about health care reform. Um, uh, TV shows, mostly Fox News, because they're the only ones who would uh, listen to us and give us a forum. And um, more importantly, develop relationships here in Washington, D.C. with um, congressmen, senators, who know what we're doing and are fully uh, supportive of the efforts because it's people like us just every day taking care of patients who are concerned about this health care reform law that is now in effect and know that it's going to uh, change the way that we take care of our patients for the worse and hinder us and, um, and uh, irrevocably harm health care in, in this country for years to come. So um, we, uh, we have made very good uh, uh, friendships here in Washington with many of the, uh, our elected leaders and yesterday um, I am I think I can say this, we had a 30-minute meeting with the Speaker of the House um, before his, uh, his meeting at the White House. We, we called and told uh, President Obama he needed to put that off a few minutes so that he could, uh, uh, the Speaker could finish his uh, meeting with us. And we had a very productive meeting. Today we met with uh, Senator McConnell's staff. And um, there, there are, there's a lot of work to be done. This issue is not going Way, not for any time soon. There's a, there are so many things that are wrong. The only there's only one positive thing, in my opinion, that has come out of President Obama's action. And that's that which actually talking about health care reform. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be reformed. But we've gone the wrong way, 
and the right ways to do it, and that's what we're here to try to uh, uh, help with. So I'd like to uh, turn this over to uh, Dr. Armstrong for the next few minutes so that he can tell you about some of the things that uh, Doctor Patient Care has been doing and where we're hoping to go from here.